Hey guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build a Caltrain. So this is the MP36PH-3C, and it's an MPI MP Express. Uh, this is a diesel electric passenger train locomotive, and it's used in California. And that's what it looks like. I also have a coach on the way. This is like a Bombardier uh, bi-level coach that comes along with it but I think I'll do that on a separate video and I'm almost finished with it so anyways let's get started so let's get gray wool and add a 2x3 on top of the tracks and add one on the top sides like that and you want to make this 31 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 and uh, you also want to do the same thing on the other side and let's add uh, the coupling put it right here it doesn't really matter right there and in these corners, let's add stone brick stairs that's upside down. And also, let's take more gray wall, just uh, fill in the center, like right above the tracks. And after that, the other side. And let's see. Oh yeah, we need that. This is really messy. All right, so let's get our uh, hoppers for the wheels. So the hoppers gonna be right around here. We're gonna skip these two spaces and place two hoppers for the wheel. Skip one, two more hoppers, and same thing on the other side. So skip these two, two hoppers, then two more hoppers. And we want to add a stone brick slab in the middle of that. Like so. And then let's take our uh, acacia wood slab, just line up the rest of the floor on the sides like this. And this is supposed to be the red stripe that goes below, but it is orange since there is no red slab. I know some people they would prefer brick, but I don't like that. It just looks like an actual brick. Alright, next let's take our red hardened clay. Just add these in the corners like that. And let's take our block of quartz, we have it right here. Just make a T shape like that. Then let's get a redstone torch, just add these lights in the front and add a sign in the middle. And this is where their number is going to be. And let's take more uh, red stain uh, clay, just add two more on top like that. I'll make it go like diagonal, then add a diagonal again and make it three. And let's take our uh, quartz stairs, just add that right here like that and on top of here we want to fill that in with a uh, quartz block and we're going to remove the middle and we're going to place a uh, nether brick slab right here double and on top of that we want a white carpet and this is where another light's going to be all right so once you're done with that let's take our black stained glass and add the front of the cab i guess is this a cab and just make it curve like that and uh, right here we want a black stained glass pane like that and let's uh, work on the rest so let's take our block of quartz just line up all the way to over here so we're gonna leave that case alone we're actually gonna remove it because that's where the stairs are gonna be and just fill in the sides with blocks of quartz and later we're gonna add those little details like the Caltrain logo alright so let's work on this stairs 
since there is just a hole. And what we want to do is just place an upside down nether brick stairs like that, and below that, another brick slab. And that's our stairs. And let's go back to the front. There's another stairs. Uh, but we have to do this part first, so let's just fill this in with quartz right under the uh, red stained clay. Then right over here, we want to make a hole like that. Just skip that and uh, add another layer of quartz to the back, the back section, to the other side as well. And in this hole, we're going to place the stairs. So we're going to take quartz stairs, just have two of them upside down like that. And then we're going to add more red stained clay. So, or is this red hardened clay? So we're going to add uh, four of them, or four, or five, I think five, so one, two, three, four, five. Add that to the other side, and right on top of that we want to add a gray wool. Just a layer. And a little gray wool here. And now we have this door frame, so let's put an iron door there. And let's take our iron bars, just line up the sides of the door like that. And it's for the railing. And do that on this side. And let's take a uh, stone brick slab, just add that on top to make this top of the curve. Like that, add this on the sides. And in the middle, we're going to take uh, gray wool, just fill that in. I'm not sure how much yet, so we're going to do that later. Let's take our stone brick stairs, just add two of them like that to the sides. And after that, we want to use nether brick stairs. So we're going to add three of that, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then let's take our red stained clay, just go to the back. Actually, we do need another layer of quartz first. So let's add that layer of quartz on this section, going all the way to the back. And then we have to make that tip in the back. So let's do that right now, uh, right in front of the stairs. In the middle, we want to add a wall of quartz like that. Then we're going to add a layer of red clay like this right on top of there and we're going to continue the stripe on the other side all right so once we're done with that let's uh, get an iron bar shad two of them here on both sides and let's replace the middle with the iron door like that and let's go back to the front could finish up these vents on the side so take three stone brick stairs just add that then we're going to take four nether brick stairs so one two three four then one stone brick stairs like that and let's do that on the other side as well all right then let's go to the back let's add some gray wool so just add a two by three like this and add stone brick uh, stairs on either side of that and then two nether brick stairs one stone brick then we just fill in this gap with nether brick stairs and just copy the same design on the other side all right so let's get uh, the gray wool and you want to fill in these uh, gaps between these stone brick stairs so like over here and over here and we're actually going to replace this one in the middle with a uh, black wool like that. And the rest in the front, uh, the vent in the front, they just have gray wool. But for these one, we're going to add these little, uh, these fans, I think, <laughs> for circulation. Let me add more gray wool in this uh, row. And let's see, we're going to take another brick stairs, and to make this, basically what we want to do 
is let me inspect this first so we just want to have another brick stairs facing like this and the other way as well so every two blocks is one of these uh, fans so we just have another brick uh, stairs like that and then you can see this they have like this circular well it kind of looks like a square now since it's minecraft but it's supposed to be a circle that's the closest we can get to it and just uh, repeat that pattern all the way throughout these uh, gaps alright so once we added those fans on top let's go to the back let's add that light so I'm gonna place a birch fence gate open with that and let's see what else on the other side there's gonna be another door but it's kinda it's kinda hidden so it's gonna be right here like right where the red clay it goes up so we've gotta add these uh, iron bars to it like that skip one space add another column of iron bars and I believe we want to add these nether brick stairs upside down here but you don't have to do this on the other side and under here nether brick uh, slab like that and let's add the logo so the logo it looks like this so we just take black wool go over here skip these two quartz add two black wool then we're gonna add this uh, backwards L shape with the red clay so that's our logo and we're gonna have that on the other side but you want to have it flipped so just align it it's like aligned with this right here you can see that's the other one so make the L shape uh, kinda threw away the block of quartz so alright and the black wall so this is our logo and let's go to the front and add a white wall so this is where a vent is gonna be right in front of this iron bar on either side so just add that tiny detail alright so once we're done with that let's add uh, the underside of it so whatever this is and we should be done after that so this is located right under the logo so that's pretty convenient and we just take uh, gray wool yeah it's aligned there and just add that three blocks wide underneath the logo directly and on the sides let's line it up with the nether brick stairs like that on the other side as well and we're gonna skip one space just fill in two of these blocks wide like that and then we're gonna take our um, what did I use for that I used skull so let me get the weather skeleton skull add these two so it's kind of like these cylinders over here and while well, the other side's gonna look just like a box so it's gonna be flat like that and let's just make sure that I did it and yeah so that's pretty much how you build the Caltrain MP 36 PH 3C and I hope you guys enjoyed that video so if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future. I got a lot of trains to go and since there's like thousands of these trains and you guys keep requesting more. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.